I want to start with some good news. Let's have a look at the picture for excess deaths in the UK. It's been a very depressing chart. We've shown you it for many months now. Comparing this, this white line here, which is the historic level of deaths uh, in the UK over different weeks of the year, with what's happened during this pandemic. And you can make out that very big spike we had uh, last spring going up into where we have this increase. So you can see the second wave there. But if you come a little bit closer, you can probably just make out, look, that black line is now below the white line. And what does that mean? It means that that second period, that second wave of mortality now may well be at an end. And that seems like a good moment to reflect on what we're talking about, on how many people have died of this virus. When you have a look at this, the number of deaths with COVID on the certificate, um, well, it, they are two very big increases. And if you add up all of those numbers, um, we are talking about 149,117 uh, deaths with COVID-19 on the certificate, a terrifying number. And if you look at when those deaths took place, whether they were in the first wave or in the second wave, well, there's a striking comparison here. I'll turn those into bars so you can compare the height of them. And look, that first wave is actually a lot lower, 57, 58,000 deaths in the first wave, 91,000 in the second wave. So the second wave, far worse when it comes to this official COVID-19 uh, death toll. But there's a different way of measuring it. If you look just at excess deaths, it's a slightly different picture. Those bars actually go the other way around and the first wave is slightly bigger than the second wave. Why is that? Because potentially in this second wave, particularly over the winter period, some people who might have died of other diseases may well have died of COVID-19. So that's why there's a difference potentially between those two measures. But a lot of people have asked about international comparisons. Is the UK the worst in the world when it comes to mortality? Well, not quite, but it's certainly not that promising a picture. These bars show you the higher they are, the more deaths there are per person. So it's population adjustment in all these different countries. So you've got the Czech Republic and Belgium at the top. There's the UK in sixth place. But it's worth saying this isn't comprehensive. There are some countries which don't reflect uh, all of their COVID-19 deaths uh, very well, don't report them very well. And if you look at excess deaths, so again, historical versus where we are this year, it's a different picture. You, look, you've got Peru and Russia moving to the top there and the UK uh, in 16th place rather than sixth place. Now, some might see that as a good outcome, but it's worth just reflecting. That bar could have been so much lower than that.